Hello, HoldyWireMod here. Welcome to the 13th tutorial in the GLUA Pro series where we're going to be taking a look at meta tables and meta methods. And this is going to help you not in this video, but the next video. We're going to be able to go over the package see all as I promised in the module video. But for right now, let's just define these tables. So we're going to have first table A, and then we'll have table B. Now a table, as you know, is capable of comparing key values. So we can add these together. We can actually go and get one of the key values or the values assigned to a key value. We can traverse through looping all these key values and get their values that way with the 4KV loop. But we cannot do something as such as table A plus table B. That's going to give us an error. That is unless we actually use meta tables to change the behavior of the table, which is exactly what a meta table is for. So if we want to allow this expression to exist, we have to create something called a meta method. A meta method has different types. This is called an arithmetic meta method. So we have add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And a meta method by default should be a function, which with given arguments, you have table one, table two. And then we're going to define how table one interacts with table two in this case. So when we are using this add symbol, we are going to say we're going to have some table, and this is going to be for storage. Actually, I'm going to make this a local variable as well. And we're going to be returning some table, which is going to contain the sum of our uh, two tables that we're adding together. So let's start with a four and I, and then we're going to say the number of key values in table. And then we're going to have table one I, and if table one I does not equal nil, and on top of that, if table two I does not equal nil, then we're going to add those two suckers together. So we're going to say some table, say table one I plus table two I. And if you caught this I was missing, you're very attentive. Good job. Very good. And then we'll put else and we'll say some table at that index of I is going to equal zero. You can put nil, you can put whatever you want. You can put that's my soup if you really want to. It's all fine. And of course, you know how to throw soup in here. So anyway, next thing we want to do after we define the meta method in the meta table is we're going to actually have to assign that meta table to the table that we want to do all the stuff. So we're going to say set meta table, table A, and here's the meta table we're assigning to it. And now, as you can see, we're able to do stuff and there's no error. So let's get exactly what's happening with the print table. As you can see, when we add table A and table B, we get one plus one, two plus two, and three plus three. It doesn't do four plus here and puts a zero as a placeholder because it meets this condition where it's nil. All right, so of course you can do that table A plus table A, that's also fun as well. So what about other versions of meta methods? We went over the arithmetic meta methods. Well, there's something also called the relational meta method. So for example, we have is equal to less than, less than it equal to. So let's stick with equal to here and we'll have a function and we'll say table one, table two is the arguments. And then we'll have local equal and we'll by default call it true and return equal. Now we're going to again do a for loop. So I'll just do a quick copy and paste and save us a little bit of time here. And instead of all this, we'll say that if table instead of not equals nil, we'll say this table one's key value not equal table two's key value. If that's the case, then we're going to set equal, equal to false, and then we're going to break right here. So if these tables are not exactly the same, then it'll catch that right here, set to false and return false. So let's go test that out. We already have the meta table set. So now what we have to do is just simply print A equal B. As you can see, it's false. When we do it to A, it's true. Now, there may be some cases where you might have B and B, and that's true, and that's fine. And B is A, and that's false. So this is exactly how you'd set the procedure if you want to change that. There's also an additional way to get the meta methods or the meta table containing the meta methods. It's a better way to say it. So we'll say get meta table, and then let's say we want it from A. 
So we have a table here, which means we're going to have to go to print table. And there we have add an equal to. You can actually secure your get meta table. So let's set that back to print. And we can say that we want to put meta table and set that equal to, hey, get out of here. So we don't want people actually reading our meta methods on the table for security purposes. And we can say that to my soup. And there you go. So now when I try to get the meta table, it won't let us. So that's good. The last type of meta method that I'd like to take you through in this video before we go into the next one, because I don't want to carry this video too long, is the library meta method. So we have two string, for example. You also have concatenation, you have modulus and so forth. So let's start with two string. Okay, so two string is going to be a function. This one we're only going to need table one as the argument. And here, of course, we've got to remember our comma is going to be local string, and we'll just say is equal to zero. This is going to be kind of like a concatenation because remember you can tell the behavior to happen exactly like you want it. Doesn't really matter. So just to make it simple for this example, because it's more about it, understanding the meta methods more than it is understanding how to concatenate and use two strings. So let's just do that. So now we're going to be tacking on each key value onto one line and returning it all as a string. So now if I go to here and go print to string a, there you go. It says one, two, three, four, which is the value of this table. So that's going to conclude all the basics for your meta tables and whatnot. There's a little bit more to cover, which I'm going to do in the next video. And that's going to properly explain this, which is going to go over index, meta method, and so forth. But if you have any questions so far, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, share, leave comments section below, of course. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoy the content. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out Hexane Networks for affordable and high-performance server hosting. That's Hexane Networks, whose link is in the description below.